SpaceX Dragon. We're go for launch. Let's light this candle. It was an uneasy wait, but as the countdown came, the clouds cleared. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. And two American astronauts made history. This is the first time a private company, not a government, has been in charge of sending astronauts into orbit. Nice launch track down that pad is clear. Go for launch. Okay. With NASA's help, SpaceX are launching a new era of corporate-led human space missions. Today is a milestone for its billionaire founder, Elon Musk, and for the two test pilots, Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin. After aborting their first attempt last week, they were back today to try again. This time, the weather didn't halt liftoff. MD Dragon, loud and clear. And the veteran astronauts and friends became pioneers of a new world order for space flight. We view it as, a, as an opportunity, but also a responsibility for the American people, for the SpaceX team, for all of NASA that's uh, put this opportunity together and, and entrusted us with it. It's incredibly humbling to be here to start out the next uh, launch from the United States. We're looking forward to getting uh, up close and personal with uh, Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon here. Liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. The last time the US sent humans into orbit was in 2011. Since then, they've had to piggyback on Russian projects. Donald Trump was so keen to witness the change, he came back again to watch today, even as his country burned in anger. Half a century ago, the Apollo moon missions used this same launch pad. The spectators are gone, but another dream is realised, one that could take us all just that little bit closer to the moon and Mars. It was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work, and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.